Hey there, Ben Mankiewicz with you. Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies, where we're a little better than halfway through our annual Summer Under the Stars Film Festival. Since early this morning, we've been featuring Bob Hope movies. Up next tonight, our fourth straight Hope comedy from Paramount during the 1940s. Our last film, My Favorite Blonde from 1942, paired Hope, playing his lovable coward character, opposite Madeline Carroll, who'd starred in Alfred Hitchcock's thriller, The 39 Steps. My Favorite Blonde was a comedy version of Hitchcock's movie. Given the success of My Favorite Blonde, Paramount went back to the well five years later with our next film. From 1947, this is My Favorite Brunette. This time, Hope is paired with Dorothy L'Amour, and instead of a Hitchcock spoof, this is a Bob Hope version of Raymond Chandler's hard-boiled detective Philip Marlowe. Hope takes his cowardly and likable character to the next level, playing a baby photographer who, while filling in for a private detective buddy of his, is hired by L'Amour to search for her missing uncle. While on the trail, Hope gets caught up in a mess he is ill-equipped to extricate himself from. But in reality, the plot is little more than a backdrop for the gags and one-liners that made Bob Hope one of the biggest stars in the world. Adding to it all are memorable comedy performances from men we don't associate with on-screen humor all that much, Peter Lorre and Lon Chaney Jr. And don't overlook the reveal of the executioner at the end of the movie. He'd spend some time traveling with Hope. Hope co-starred with L'Amour in 11 movies, most famously their seven road pictures with Bing Crosby. Hope made his final credited big screen appearance in the 1985 comedy Spies Like Us with Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd, an homage to those Hope Crosby movies. From Paramount in 1947, directed by Elliot Nugent, also with John Hoyt, Reginald Denny, and Jack LaRue, my favorite brunette.